Let's find the surface area of triangular pyramids. Now, this, I got to say, can be tricky. So this is a really ugly net of a triangular pyramid. And I want to point a few things out, right? So this is our base, the, the base of the pyramid. And we know that if it's a triangular pyramid, the base is a triangle. And then we have three lateral faces, right? One, two, three. If we're finding surface area, that means we're basically saying we have a present that we're wrapping, right? It's the outside of the figure. And this is great and all, except remember how you find the area of a triangle, and that's one half base times height. Well, if the base of our pyramid is a triangle that is not equilateral, then we're going to have different areas for every lateral face. So for our purpose, we are going to have an equal lateral triangle. So you'll notice these marks here. That tells us that the three sides of the base are all the same. That give, makes the whole piece a little easier. So we have one base and then we have three equal, equal lateral faces. So think about the base of the triangle. We will find the base of the triangle using one half times base times the height of that base. Then, when you think about the area of a lateral face, which is also a triangle, so we'll just say that the lateral face, area of a lateral face, will be one half times the base of that, which is also B, right, because this side is B, um, times the height, which in this case is C. If I have three of those, right, we're going to multiply this by three because, again, there are three equal lateral faces. So the formula for surface area of a triangular pyramid, and remember this is an equal lateral triangular angular pyramid. That's the big key is that all three lateral faces are going to be the same. So I have one half base times height. This is the base of the pyramid. And then three times one half base times C, which are the three lateral faces. Okay, if we add those all together, those are the four sides of the pyramid. And then we can, we will have our surface area. Okay, let's do one. Find the surface area of the pyramid. Now, you can either do this in two chunks. You can do it all at once. No matter how you do it, I like to identify what I'm given. So, first of all, we are going to tell ourselves that we have our, uh, an equilateral. Okay, let's just pretend. Sometimes it's hard to see with what we have. But with the equilateral uh, prism here, we can see that for our base, well, let me get rid of that. Um, little b. So one side, right, we can see is 16. So b is 16. The height of uh, my, the base, the height of the base, which you can see is here, right, so that's on the, the bottom, is 10. And then as we noted in our formula, c is going to be the slant height. So it's going to come from the apex of the pyramid <clears throat> to the side and form a right angle. So c is 8. Now, once I have all of those pieces, then I can say, okay, I know that I'm not finding volume. I'm finding surface area is one half base times height plus one third. Nope, not one third. Goodness gracious. Three times one half base times C. I need that three because there are three equal sides. So let's plug in what we know. One half times 16 times 10 plus three times one half times 16 times eight. And then we simplify. So first let's start here with the front half. So one half times 16 is eight. Eight times 10 is 80. And then over here, I'm gonna have plus three times Half of 16 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Then 64 times 3 is 192. Remember, we have to deal with the order of operations. So our surface area is 272 square inches. So if you wanted to wrap this present, you would need 272 square inches to cover all four sides. All right, let's do one more. We have ourselves an equal lateral triangular pyramid. And we want to find the surface area. So again, label what you know. So I know it looks like the base is 12 centimeters. The height of my base is 6. 
and then C, which goes from the apex to the side, right, to a base, is 18. So if my surface area is 1 half base times height plus 3 times 1 half base times C, where C is the slant height, now I can plug in what I know. So 1 half times 12 times 6 plus 3 times 1 half times 12 times 18. Again, do this in chunks. I'm a big fan of chunks. So on the first half, we take half of 12, which is 6, and 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, then let's go to the next one. I'm going to have plus 3 because that's on the outside. Let's work inside. Half of 12 is 6. 6 times 18 is 1. Whoop, where, what, what am I doing? Is 100, lost my train of thought, 108. Then I do 3 times 108, and I get 324. Remember, again, order of operations. So my surface area is 360 square centimeters. The big key is being able to identify what you know from the picture and then appropriately substituting into your equation and then using the order of operations to simplify. Surface area of an equilateral triangular pyramid.